everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hotel Dusk. Thanks for tuning in. Oh my goodness, in the last episode, me and Louie were attacked, very likely by Dunning. What kind of secret is he trying to hide by literally assaulting people? I'm okay. Maybe he has a right to because we shouldn't be in here and we found his secret key and we did break his pot, but um, either way, I freaking, I'm gonna go get him. So, let's see what's going on. Hold on, let's... Where are we supposed to look next, Hyde? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I, I was just gonna talk to them just in case. I'll probably head out, but... Mr. Hyde, where's Mila? Okay, okay. Alright. Heading out. Here we go. Uh, do I want to look at anything here? Mm, hopefully not right now. There may be a clue in the wine cellar. Okay. I better check it out. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta refresh my memory. Here, let's look around. Um... I don't think I have to look at every single box of wine. That wouldn't make sense. There are bottles of booze in here. Hmm. This barrel seems suspicious. An entire barrel of beer. Who needs that much beer all at once? Okay, what could be important here? These posters. Hey, Louie, get out of my way. I gotta look in the corner over there. Shoes. It's a case of whiskey. Oh. There's one missing. There are whiskey bottles in this case. There are three bottles in here. So that's important because... <laughs> it's a box. Name of the booze company's written on it. How am I supposed to know which ones are important? It's a shelf designed to hold alcohol. Bless you, shelf. <laughs> it's a box from a distillery I've never heard of. Is there something important on every single one? A dirty wooden box? Who uses wooden boxes anymore? Well, uh, that particular, like, the whiskey was brightly, br whiskey was brightly colored, that's why I was inclined to click on it. What else could be important around here? Um, what's the, what's the clue? More empty boxes, okay, boxes full of liquor. Some boxes of alcohol kind of strapped together, it must be Louie's work. Uh, this, the empty, there's a whiskey bottle on top of the shelf. This whiskey. It's the same stuff that was in the case on the back shelf. This bottle's only half full. Why is this important? What's happening? Just maybe. I pick up a, ha a half full whiskey bottle, but what do you- what? Is this something I'm, I'm forgetting? Uh, well, I, maybe it's time to head out now, question mark? There might be clues in the wine cellar. I'd better check it out. Is he thinking if I put it in there, it'll open like a secret compartment or something? There's no way. How would that work? Okay, Lear, let's use it and put it in there, I guess. What's going on here? I think I'll put this whiskey bottle in one of the open spaces in the case. Is this seriously a... Hmm. What's wrong? Something about that whiskey bottle seems odd to me. Huh? Like what? It's just a whiskey bottle, not a thing odd about it. Trust me on this one, I know whiskey. Spare me your expertise, Lois. If I say something's odd, it's odd. Why is there a half full bottle of whiskey in the wine cellar? If you're gonna open a bottle, why wouldn't you put it in the bar? Wait a, Lois, have you been down here drinking on the sly? What, come on, Mama Sass, give me a break. I run the bar. If I want a drink, I'll pound him down up there. So, now what? Okay, now what? The whiskey bottle I just put in the case is still there. Am I taking it? Oh, I took it. Can I take any of the other ones? Mm, let me put it back again. Wait, what's going on? How come I can take it out? What the heck am I- wait, this is so weird. What am I doing? Can I look at this poster? The wall? Anything open? No? Do I literally have to look at every single little thing? There's no way. Alcohol is leaking out of a bottle in the crack. What a terrible waste. Okay. I'll just keep clicking on random stuff, I guess. What? I am so baffled right now. 
Okay, I, I did what I needed to over there. What, what does that accomplish for me? Okay, I didn't find anything significant on this shelf yet. Oh, another bottle! There's a whiskey bottle on top of the shelf. This whiskey. It's the same stuff that was in the case on the back shelf. This bottle's only half full. It's the same as that other bottle I found. So I put them together to make a full bottle and put it in there, and therefore the weight of it in that exact slot will cause it to open the secret compart- What- what kind of crazy ass contraption is this? What the heck? Okay, here I go. So I'm gonna pick it up. Wait. Oh, he won't let me take it now. Can I- can I now somehow apply this half-filled bottle? There we go. I'll pour one more bottle of whiskey into a bottle in the case. Perfect. Then spill a drop. Nice. Nice, man. Now I'll put it back in the case and... So, how- How? Huh? What was that sound? How? How does that work? How does that work? What did it open? What did it open? What- what opens? Um... The wall itself? Can I... The shelf. Ooh, snap! Huh? Holy cow! How the hell does that work? What the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's crazy talk. Dunning, you've been hiding this this whole time. Who are you? What's your true identity? What are you hiding? Not so. The angel paint, uh, angel painting. It's right there. It's back there. Whoa! Oh my stars! What's going on, man? Crap! Hide the stairs behind the shelf. Yeah. This is why we got cooled, Louis. Somebody didn't want us finding this. Oh man! Did you know this place had a basement? I had no idea. The only one who ever comes down here is Mr. Smith. <gasps> Do you think that he? Yeah, I do. So what next, Hyde? What do you think? I'm gonna follow the rabbit down the hole. Not by yourself, you ain't. I'm going too. No, stay here with Rosa. No way, man. No damn way. I'm going with you. You'll do what I tell you to do, and I'm telling you to wait here. Give me one good reason. I need backup. I don't know what's down there. If something happens, you're gonna have to come haul my haul my. Bleh, you're gonna have to come haul my ass out of the fire. I'll see that he stays put, Mr. Hyde. If you're not back in an hour, I'll send Lewis after you. For what good that'll do? Yeah. All right, Hyde. Be careful, be careful, brother. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks, Louie, man. I know you got my back. I'm trusting you, okay? I'm trusting you to do this for me. Holy hell, this just got so serious, you guys. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Let's do this. All right. No one's here. Looking like an amnesia ass hallway. Frickin' I'm terrified. Who knew there was a place like this under the hotel? Ooh, listen to this music. Oh god. And my footsteps are like super echoey. Oh, I'm scared. Yo, there's like a little opening here, but I can't look at it. Yo, this music's all serious, man. I moved the bar out of the way. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I didn't mean to do that. Can I eat? Ha! All right. Ooh, what's in here? <gasps> Wait, so where's Dunning now? He, I would expect that he'd be in here, but I guess not. Shelves, huh? Those look interesting. And the computer looks more interesting to me. Can I look at this first? There's a machine with a monitor and keyboard on the table. There's a switch on the right side of the machine. What's this thing supposed to be? Might as well turn it on and hope it doesn't blow up. Huh? Nothing happened. Well, that seems odd. Uh, I seen the power cord down there. Huh? Well, I'm assuming I can't do anything. There's a power cord down there. Can I mess with it? Has he never seen a computer before? This cable's attached to the machine on the table. I wonder if this is plugged in all the way. Uh, looks like it. The machine on the table is plugged into the socket. It's plugged in, but it doesn't look like it's making enough contact. That means it's not going to conduct electricity. Okay. 
Okay, I have to figure out some kind of nifty thing to help that out, eh? Oh, oh, who is it? Huh? Oh, footsteps. Oh my god, what the? I heard someone bar the door. Ah, someone locked us in here, how? How'd they get past Louie and Rosa? How'd they get past them? Were they hiding in the seat? You know how on the right side in the hallway, there was like that little thing on the map? It looked like there was something in the floor or something. Oh my god, maybe they were hiding there. And then another secret door. And now they trapped us in here. And you guys, I'm scared. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to turn into like a freaking horror game. I don't know. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, stay calm. Stay calm. What the? I heard someone bar the door. Damn! I think that thing's airtight. The door's been closed from the outside. Oh, I better figure a way out of way out of here fast, or I'm a goner. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. You and me, we got this, hun. It's paper with some weird ink on it. How can I read this? Uh. Paper with some weird ink on it. Um. Blow on it. Close lid. Open lid. Close lid. Open lid. No, it didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, it kind of looks like 18. I, I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do with that, so... Maybe that's the password. I'll check it out later. There's something in the drawer. Alright, scissors? Okay, these scissors are dull. I couldn't cut hot butter with these things. I found a file. Uh, can I not take anything? I, I guess until I find use for it, I won't take it. Well, that's never been the case, though. We usually just take crap before we even need- we know- know we need it, rather. There's something in the drawer. There's a lockbox in the drawer. Oh, shoot. Okay, the combination might be in the little- the yellow ink? wonder what the combination is. I think I could make out the letters eight- or rather, the numbers 18. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do some sort of DS function, but I'm not sure what. Let's check out what else is here. Crap. It's getting hard to breathe. I have to hurry? Are you kidding me? There's a time limit? I swear to God, are you serious? Oh my God. Come on, come on, come on. There's a toolbox under the table. Uh, okay. Hey, look, a hammer. I love hammers. So what, why, why? I got a hammer. Never turn down a hammer. Who knows when I'll need to thump somebody. Okay, okay. I'll hurry, hun. i I'll hurry, I promise I'll get you out of here. Okay, uh, what's here? Oh my god, oh my god! Boxes are so dirty, they've changed colors. Uh, nothing else? Oh my gosh. What else? Uh, uh, uh! I'm getting dizzy! Oh, oh, the time limit's so short! It's so short! Unless it's like, the more I look at things, the more dizzy he gets, but I need to look at things! There's no guest register here. What do we have here? The guest register from two years ago. Let's see if I can find Grace in here. Here she is. August 1977. Grace Woodward. This proves it. Grace was here two years ago. Ooh, he's been hiding so much stuff. Okay, I gotta hurry. There's a book on the shelf. It's called Life Trivia. Is there a secret in here? This ain't trivia. It's some kind of random folk wisdom collection. Not a sharpened cutlery, huh? This should be fascinating. Yeah, relevant. We need it. It's common practice to use whetstones or crock sticks to sharpen blades. But did you know you can also use aluminum foil? Okay, I'm assuming we need to find some aluminum foil. Alright. Instructions. Take the blade you wish to sharpen and use it to cut up some aluminum foil. You'll be shocked at how sharp the blade becomes. 101 uses for pencil lead? This is the dumbest book ever. Pencil lead is great, and it's actually graphite mixed with clay, but it's still great. It can be used to lubric lubricate and increase the conductivity of electrical contacts. I like that he's very specifically finding the exact things he needs. Wait, okay, I, I got confused. So, pencil lead, shove it onto some sockets, good to go. Just grind the pencil lead into powder and sprinkle it onto electrical contact points. Sounds simple enough. Okay, okay, here we go, hon. I'm ready, I'm ready. Here we go, here we go. Okay, what else is there? There's some dust-covered books on the shelf. Guess no one reads around here. Everything's important. We don't have much time. The title on the spine of the book reads Osterzone, the Phantom Painter. This is all about the, dis the discovery of Osterzone's works. It was published in 1963, and it was written by Robert Evans. Okay. Did Robert know that Dunning is Osterzone, and for some reason 
He sold him a hotel after that? I, what's going on? I picked up a book on Osterzone. Hold it. There's something stuck in between the pages. It's a photo. That's the little girl I saw in the photo from Dunning's room. This must be Dunning and Jenny. How come we don't get to see it? Hello, do we get to see it? There it is! Oh, look at them. They look so sweet. Oh. There's a date written on the back of the photo. May 18th, 1967, huh? 5 Okay, 518. Got it. This is a pretty random filing system. Anything else? The shelves are crammed full of files. No, I'm double checking. Labels are peeling off. I can't read anything. Gotta get out. Ah! Oh no! Uh oh. Did I pass out? I can't. <laughs> Oh no, I passed out! Oh shoot! I'm in trouble. I think I'm gonna die at Hotel Dusk. Damn, I hate this place. I died! I literally died. I died. I died? Like, I actually died? Like, you can really die in this? Holy cow, I freaking died. Yo! <laughs> Holy god, that was not enough time! God damn! Will it take me to where... Where is it gonna take me? Back into the room itself? That'd be nice. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. let me try again, let me try again. Now that I know kind of where to look, I'm just gonna do it really fast. Okay, someone's gonna lock me in. Okay. Are we supposed to do this multiple tries? Cause I don't, there's no way I have enough time to do it all in one try. There's no way. Okay, wait, wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this book. Unless this isn't important. Unless I shouldn't do this until after I open the door or something. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, maybe I need to go find uh, aluminum foil and uh, or something. Wait, how am I supposed to get out though? How am I supposed to get out? Hold on, <laughs> wait, okay, 518, uh, this tells me 518, I think. Okay, that seems pretty important somehow. Okay, 518, let's just go ahead and take that first before we look at anything else. Okay. I feel like we need to look at the trivia book so Hyde knows what to do though, that's the problem. Uh, I don't know, okay, I'm panicking. Okay, okay, here we go. Um, 518. Okay, five. One, two, three, four, five, one. And eight. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, is this important right now? There's an old envelope inside the lockbox. The letter's addressed to Dunning Smith. Senator's name isn't anywhere on the envelope. This is your last job. Finish it, and you're free. Ooh, there's code down here! September 9th by Robert Evans. Okay, maybe I just have to move a letter over or something like that? We'll have to see. I won't ask anything further of you. However, our secret must never be revealed. Keep silent, and I promise that Jenny will one day be returned to you! Robert Evans was somehow controlling her hostage situation! Oh my god! And because Jenny's not here right now, she must still be gone! And that's why Robert ran away. What's going on, Robert Evans? Why did you do this? And you abandoned your own daughter and like, what, what, what's going on? Oh my God. Go back to Hotel Dusk. Be patient. September 9th, 1972. Robert Evans. Evans sent this letter to Dunning seven years ago. That's the same time Evans closed up his gallery and disappeared. Our secret must never be revealed. What do these letters at the end mean? I wonder if it's some kind of code. How do I figure it out? Uh, there's gotta be a cipher or something somewhere, but... I don't think I have time to figure this out. I don't think I, I... Should I look at the door? What do I do? Okay, let me try and look at the door. Um... Door won't open. Uh, <laughs> okay, um... How do I get aluminum foil? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hide, honey. Read the book. Read the book. Um, we can see if we can at least do one thing around here. Okay, read the book. You're gonna be fine. 
Okay. Sharpened cutlery, we have to use, okay, aluminum foil. And we want to do that on the scissors for some reason. I don't really know what we're cutting exactly, but we're going to sharpen. Okay. And then we're going to also grind down. Maybe we're sharpening the scissors to grind down pencil lead? Do we even have a pencil on us? Hold on, what do we have? Uh, uh, I didn't get time to look at this. Nothing interesting. Okay, got it. Um... Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, I'm panicking. Hold on. Oh my god, um, um, um. Okay. Uh, uh, we- okay. Holy cow, I'm gonna- I'm gonna cry. There's something in the drawer. Um... I still have a pencil. I still have a pencil, so I know I know this is probably too dull, but I'm not gonna be anywhere using this right now. Okay, uh, what's what is this? A file? How do we use it? Uh, can we file the pencil down? No? Why not? Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Oh my god! Uh, you know what, guys? We're here at the end of the episode. Oh my god, I feel so tense right now. I feel so tense. I hope the time's not passing as I'm on this prompt. It might be, but anyways, I'm gonna do my best to solve this in the next episode. Join me for this climactic situation of trying to escape before we freaking literally actually for realsies die. I did not know you could die in this game. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm just so distraught right now. Okay, I will see you next time. This is Axis. Over and out.